Hey, good morning. My name is Greg Gorman. Um, I am going to show you how to make postcard mail art from recycled items that you typically would throw away. Uh, this is all part of the pawns and passports, chess sets from around the globe, uh, which is on view at the World Chess Hall of Fame through January of 2022. So a good question all the time is, is what really is a postcard? More importantly, what is mailable art? Uh, let's start with a postcard. A postcard in, in my world, and, and pretty sure the, the post office will agree with me, is, is that it is anything that is a hard surface, four by six, five by seven, if it gets larger, it's, it's still a postcard. It's a, it's a piece of, of art the same. Uh, it basically is something that you can put postage on, whether it is uh, stamps that you put on yourself for the collectors, like I said, with the, with the envelope kind of thing of this nature, or if you just go to the post office and have them put, put their regular sticker labels on there. Mailable art, on the other hand, can be anything. Um, for example, it could be a license plate. It could be a small piece of wood. It could be a small piece of metal. It could be a Frisbee. It could be a sandwich baggie with something inside that is soft and, and movable. Uh, it could be a flip-flop. I'm in the process now of preparing flip-flops to send to somebody in California because it's getting warm. And so the mailable substance doesn't have to just be cardboard as we talked about earlier in here, but it could be anything that doesn't have sharp edges on it um, and you can decorate that. So typically this is how, this is how the process starts. I, uh, I eat food and I save the packaging, whether it's meals, popcorn, cereal, things of that nature. Um, even some alcoholic beverages probably can be used. So anything that is flat and hard becomes the basis of the postcard. And so uh, we cut it out in shapes, I do, uh, my evil twin brother and I. And from, these, from this we create a postcard. So today, this morning, oh, 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 oh. And the other thing is, it's not just the boxes. It's not just the boxes, but it's the other kind. And I call it trash because to me, the first box came out of my trash can when I realized that's a free postcard I could do. So uh, I use all that stuff that comes in the mail that you usually throw away. Uh, I use magazines and periodicals that come in the mail or that people give to me because there's great pictures, words, and letters. And the most important thing out of all this is color, texture, words, and letters. And so that's kind of the start of, of all of that. Some examples, this is how they look when they start, um, just pieces of that. There is a store-bought part of the process as well uh, in many cases, and that is with sticker books. And so, you know, I go to places, uh, the discount stores, the dollar stores, and buy sticker books. I buy them online. It's kind of fun sometimes to interject and mix. Some people have favorite animals or the moon or my favorite is pirates, uh, mules, and, and beer. Um, uh, so, so those are the things that, that I look for. The tools I use are very limited. Everybody has this at home. So I'm not going to show you anything really that you don't already have in your house, most likely. So you could start becoming a male postcard artist today after this presentation. So you got glue, glue stick. Uh, I use a little bit of it, uh, of it at times. I'm going to show you using it today most of the time. I just usually work with scissors and tape and it's got to be the big packaging tape i use lots of tape uh, uh, i'm ad i'm addicted to that and i'll show you how that works and then two pens so again basic tools nothing complicated at all so how do we start like i said i'll take a box a lid like this and i will cut it to size so it'll look like this, right? So it's a little bit larger. Uh, most postcards, four by six, five by seven, but mail art can be any size. You just have to put more postage on it. Um, 
on the back, show you just real quick. Uh, I do all those by hand uh, to make it look like a postcard. Um, so that's my unique sort of style. Uh, I call it a postcard so that the mail the service, the, the U.S. Postal Service system sees that it's maybe not a piece of trash, although that's, that's what I do call it. My handle, by the way, is Trash Postcards STL. Um, so this is, this is an important part of it. <clears throat> so here's how we start with that. We need some letters, right? So I go to my trash. I, I, I figure out the words I want to write. I, I figure out the words that I want to paste. Sometimes, if, if you're not comfortable, you could do a little diagram. You could do a little black and white. You could do a color schematic that says, ah, it gives me something to focus on. Um, I'm pretty spontaneous about it, so I simply get an idea in my head and, and I sort of run with it. Um, but so anyway, we go. We, we want letters. So as you see, I, I cut out a letter. There's also, today, what we're going to do, I've got other examples to show you, but today what we're going to focus on is uh, something I did with my grandsons um, a year or so ago when I started making trash postcards, and I called them Surprise Sunshine Smiles. And so to do that, I could go, for example, to the exact same piece that I, that I had before, a piece of paper. And you just simply cut out little pinwheel diamond shaped kind of things. You know, you can also do it with those envelopes that you get when people send you cards and stuff like that too. Uh, ev everything is, everything is, is usable. The important thing with this in my mind is to get a good color assortment um, so that you've got a colorful sunshine smile and again envelopes are envelopes are more than fine to do that with uh, I make my own sometimes with scribbles and doodles from my desk from my shopping list uh, for for added color for fun and a little bit of personality once you cut out once I cut out the the letters this one today says sunshine smiles Sunshine Smile Trash has a little St. Louis logo in some of it because that's what came out of the newspaper. Um, but the way it starts can be two ways. One is to put the letters down first that says sunshine and you overlap them. You do whatever you need to. Um, and then I put smiles here. Uh, another way that you can do is you can start with the sunshine smile, the sunshine, the burst first. Uh, put it in the middle and then work around it. So we're going to play with this one real quick. We'll play with this one uh, so that I can show you just real quick how it, how it all goes together. Take a little bit of glue. There is no rhyme or reason. There is no right way. There is no wrong way. Just simply start taking the pieces the colors, how do you like it, uh, what goes well together. The fun thing is, is that it happens pretty spontaneous. And so uh, you should cut out extra. Uh, you will have enough to make multiple sunshine smiles by the, by the time it is over. Add another little layer of glue here just for the, the next set layer. And again, I do this. I do this just to show that one of the ways you you can approach it is to use the glue on the postcard, or once you get a little bit more experienced at it or more comfortable, really, then you can uh, just lay them there and try to capture it with the tape as it as it goes down. But as you can see, no rhyme or reason, just placing having fun just like just like the sun shines there's no two the same and there you go a little piece like that now the other thing that my grandson made me do one time 
and I've done it ever since, is in the middle of the sunshine smile, I put a little sticker. And again, the stickers are whatever they want to be. Uh, here's a beach ball. What that also does is it holds down the part of the sunshine burst like so. So again, we put the letters down, we put the pieces in the middle down, let it sit for just a little bit, and then my most favorite part, which is the tape. I brought a whole new roll today in case I, so I didn't want to run out. Cut a few pieces. Um, you'll trim if you need to. Some people don't use tape. Some people use uh, glues. Some people use a, a decoupage material that uh, seals it on the outside. Uh, I think to me the, the finished part and to support my uh, kind of trashy kind of approach to it is uh, the more tape, the better it is. Put the tape on, spread it. Voila. So just like that, we created a sunshine smile. I also brought some, and then again, here was another one. Uh, I could, I guess I could probably do this. Uh, sometimes I call it sun, sunshine smile uh, trash. And so we'll, we'll do this one as a trash card. It's kind of my, my handle. I guess if you have to have a nickname, it's not the worst one in the world, right? At home, I do it on my countertop. Um, fabric will, will not stick as easily uh, as well. Uh, but I do it on my, on my countertop. Works pretty good. Capture the moment. Sunshine Smile Trash. Okay. Uh, I made some examples of some finished ones over here as well. Here's one, your free trash smiles. So uh, put a little fish in the middle of it. With this one, the, the cardboard, uh, the trash back was not so interesting. So actually what I did was, is I simply pulled out a, a piece of uh, background kind of material behind there. And the way you would do something like that is, you would just simply take this like this, lay it down, put the sunshine smell over the top of it. My pieces are a little bit more like control chaos and confusion mostly. Um, that's what I go for. I did want to show you though that if you have a piece of corrugated cardboard or whatever, and it could be corrugated, it could be box material also, uh, but if you do want something that's a little simpler, a little bit more controlled, you can do that too. Um, I just don't do it as often. But so again, another version of a sunshine smile. Uh, some things are themed. Uh, so happy birthday is a big one. <laughs> Friends love to get happy birthday postcards. Uh, it works. Uh, I send uh, postcards to people who own dogs. So I send them to the dogs, not to the owners. And I speak dog, so I write it dog. And for the humans on the back, I usually translate what the dog language is actually saying from me to the dog. I send to friends. I send to businesses. I send anonymous. I have a trash club and if you join it says, and this is what you get, welcome to the trash club. Um, it's kind of, kind of fun, makes it official. It's, a, it's your card carrying member kind of thing. And then I get into sayings and um, quippy things, sometimes kind of snarky things or whatever. Uh, some people like stickers. Um, I play with stickers sometimes, so I save all the fruit stickers, uh, the apples and, and, and the likes, and make sticker cards. So uh, it's easy. 
takes a while to collect. So it's sort of a, a committed project over a period of time. Not everything is, is quick and spontaneous like that. Um, here's one. Uh, somebody will say something. Something came up about roadkill. So, um, you know, for you. And so I took a, a package that, had, that was for food. And so basically it says, for you, a big bowl of delicious sizzler roadkill. Just fun stuff. One of my newest projects actually is, what do you do? What do you do with the old use, the leftover instant oatmeal? Well, all these little things that I cut out, there's scraps, there's trash. So I fill this with the trash from the trash. Um, I, I make it instant trash, just cut it out real small over the top of it. Uh, on the back where it says, you know, the instructions, I simply just make it real easy and say, just add some love and tape. So that's for you to do. I dance stamps. I, um, I am not allowed to put a stamp on an envelope straight. It just doesn't work for me. And so uh, I get in trouble sometimes by doing that, but I do what I call I dance stamps across an envelope. Uh, in this case, like this, and a little sticker like this where I can write the name on here. With things like this, because it's kind of like, what's the size, what's going on? I actually go to the post office first with it, and uh, they know me at the post office. Um, they know my, 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 my trash, and so I'll usually go there first and say, how much? What, is it, what does it cost? Is everything okay? Uh, sometimes they have to have a meeting of the minds back behind, you know, sort of, is it okay? And then they come out and go, yeah, yeah, Greg, it's okay. And so instant trash, not to be opened, just to be received uh, and make people smile along, along the way. The postcard, uh, you can mail it as a postcard. Uh, it can also be a, 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 a note card of sorts. Uh, some things, maybe the message is a little more personal. Uh, maybe it could be offensive, I don't know. But so sometimes you wanna put, you put it in an envelope. So what I do with envelopes is I have a reputation for being called a scribbler. So I scribble all over on an envelope. And as you can see from the patterns and the designs on this, what happens is, is when I'm scribbling on one envelope, I have another envelope down underneath it that I'm scribbling onto. And so all of these envelopes are made from both a scribble on and a scribble from another piece that I put together. So then I'll take this as a starting point and add more scribbles to it. Again, I love to dance the stamps across and, and highlight them. Um, I add a lot of color. It's just my, my thing. It makes me happy. I also, uh, in, in the mail, the, the postcard, uh, the community a lot of times likes to say it's the snail mail because it takes so long. I mean, it can take a month to go, two weeks, two blocks, I should say. It could be two weeks to go uh, across the world. It, it's really inconsistent. Um, and so with various stamps, multiple stamps, sometimes international stamps, um, yeah, I put trash in here. So I know that was fast. I know that was kind of quick, okay? It was sort of an expedited uh, review and presentation on how this all works, but it's a recording. So you can always go back and watch it several different times. So you start with your trash, your recyclables, repurposable materials, scribbles, the sheets, again, to recap, your tools are very limited. You have them in a drawer at home. Um, the stickers, the tapes, probably one of the, one of the most difficult maybe to, to, maybe everybody doesn't have that at home. The cardboards, the envelopes. Um, and the other thing I did wanna say about the stamps is, is that in the community, there are people that don't just save the postcards are the correspondence, but they're stamp fanatics. 
uh, and that's a huge part of snail mail and and post crossing post crossing when it goes across the water from you know the US to Europe the US to Taiwan I send to probably 15 different countries uh, a month kind of thing and and so they love to get the stamps from the United States so that's kind of a big part of of all the life too you might want a theme for example of chess so with everything I showed you 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 get the you get the cardboard look at the great colors on here look at the letters so whatever you want to say maybe it's maybe it's checkmate checkmate buddy and you're checkmate mate and you're sending it across the the ocean to Europe or something you know and there's so there's pieces of chess pieces inside you can cut them out uh, you can do things with them individually uh, just as we just as we did with with these uh, so any magazine for the most part works well uh, even even black and white copy like this in collage art and then you put elements over it right and so you got a chess buddy, uh, kind of cool. You know, people with dogs like to get dog postcards. People who play chess like to get chess postcards. Uh, so uh, probably something else you, you might want to consider, uh, depending on who is the recipient. Uh, what would they like? Uh, not just what would you like? What makes them smile? In closing, I just wanted to show you a project that was kind of fun and dear to me. Um, call it the Uncle Eddie project. So I met a guy online, uh, Glenn, and he has an uncle, Uncle Eddie. And I saw a post on on Instagram where Uncle Eddie got a got a piece of mail, a postcard from somebody, and he had the most infectious smile you could imagine. So I said, I need to send something to Uncle Eddie. I got his address. Uh, I pulled pictures off the Instagram page. His, his nephew, Glenn, thank you very much. Uh, also sent me some pictures. And I do everything by hand. I am not tech-oriented here at all uh, for the most part. So I cut out pictures. I cut out the letters. And Uncle Eddie lives in Hawaii. Um, I don't always cut out boxes specific. Some people will take the front of a box and very specifically cut it out. I'll cut them in half. I'll use it no matter how it looks because it's the cardboard I'm after. With Uncle Eddie though, I wanted to have some really cool controlled backgrounds. So I took the whole box to, uh, outside laid it out, positioned where I wanted everything, and then I'll go back in and I'll trim this. Although I did send Uncle Eddie a couple of these just the way they were because the reality of the situation is, is this is mail art box trash stuff. Uh, showing the outside of it, it's sort of irregular. It's kind of mixed media. Um, so, I, so I started sending these to Uncle Eddie and, and his nephew was like, he's so excited. Other people, and you post in the, post world, in the postcard world, you post what you send. I send everything anonymous. So I say, my here's surprise going out, smiles. Um, and so I started doing that and people started asking, who's Uncle Eddie? Who's Uncle Eddie? They figured him out. And, and so what happened was, uh, I, with permission, um, I started making about 10 to 12 different Uncle Eddies because I can't decide on just one. And as I had said earlier, when you're cutting things out and making things, you're, you're always putting together extra ones anyway. There's always going to be something left over um, when you're done uh, because you need more. You need extra of everything. I do anyway. And so what I did then was, because there was sort of a, a request like, Uncle Eddie, Uncle Eddie, and everybody got so excited. I literally did professionally print uh, 500 of each of two different postcards. And the postcard project is how many can we get? How many states can Uncle Eddie get postcards from? Uh, how many different countries can it, can it come from? So the postcarding turned out to be recycled up trash to commercial postcards. Uh, 
because this is still mail art. A lot of people do that. Uh, uh, a lot of people do it te with technology where they draw on a laptop, draw on a computer, everything's formatted, it's collaged. That's another part of, of mail art. It's a whole nother episode that you may get to see sometime. I don't know if it's scheduled, but uh, for me today, I wanted to show you what I call trash art, trash postcards, STL. Um, and I just wanted to thank everybody for the opportunity to share this. And I hope that you learned enough to, and got excited like, like I do, sort of passionate about it to make some postcards and send some smiles to somebody. So thank you very much.